I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Yep. Here is my handle. Here, here is my spout. There it is. When I get a steamed up, yep. hear me shout. Get the steam. me over and yeah. pour me out. Pour you in it. What? Hi. Welcome back to OSR. He's Corbin. <laughs> And uh, that's all you need to know. Threw him off. Paul's on Instagram. It's so juicy. Hey, turn the phone for your Twitter account. Ring the bell. Put the notification squad. Oh, do it. Too big. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're gonna react to something, Corbin Miles. I know we are. I can feel it in my gizzard. Ooh, you have one of those. You know what is the gizzard? What isn't the gizzard? Hmm, yes, that's the deeper metaphysical question. <laughs> what isn't the gizzard? I'm gonna write a poem called What, what Isn't the Gizzard? gizzard? Uh, it's gonna be good. Today we reacted to a trailer from Just Rain. That's his name. He's actually a gizzard. His name is What Isn't. What Isn't the Gizzard? And was it in Sadiq? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, was it in Sadiq? He has the gizzard. We are watching a video from Just Rain, who we've seen a bunch of his yes, stuff. Yes, funny, hilarious. Uh, but he's, he has a video called How to Pack for India. Oh, this is very important for us. Yes, we are about to go to India. Wonderful. I'm sure this is going to be very informative, very informative. and not sarcastic at And all. show me how I didn't pack properly. Although I packed super, super, super light. If you aren't familiar with Just Rain, go subscribe to him. He's, He's funny. Uh, funny, funny guy. He's very sarcastic, so I'm sure this video is just going to be full of sarcasm, and I love it. He'll uh, be rude, he'll be offensive, and it'll yeah, it's gonna make be great. happy. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's way too cold. I need to get out of this barbaric wasteland. I need to go somewhere hot. He lives somewhere in Somewhere way hot. Mm. And no, I'm not talking about hell. Although it's very similar. <laughs> India. <laughs> That's right, you heard right. I'm going to India. That's why I have my suitcase open and ready to go. And I haven't been in almost 10 years. Last time I went was when I was 2005, which is when I also took this picture. <laughs> Twitter and asked you guys what I need to do in order to pack for India. And I got a lot of great, <coughs> amazing, and helpful responses. So I thought, why not return the favor and create a video tutorial on how to pack for India? First things first, you'll need a suitcase. That is the most important article of clothing that you will need for this trip. Second thing, and most important of all, is gifts. Now, since you have a hundred billion fucking cousins, it's required to bring presents for every single one of them. Plastic toys from the dollar store. Close off the clearance rack at Walmart. <laughs> Bonus points for the circle of life. Hey, what does the circle of life mean? Well, the circle of life is very simple. Finding stuff or cheap toys that were made in India and bringing them right back to India. <laughs> And now let's move forward to gifts for the family. Plastic candles and cheap knickknacks from the dollar store. Handy pans from Zellers. And pots and pans because, you know, they definitely don't have cooking utensils in India. An outlet adapter. See, India has different outlets that barely work. It just looks like a skull. Yeah, you're gonna meet Or a devil. Yeah. Because... You know that. It is hope, so. Toilet paper. Can you believe in India they use water to clean their butts? I mean, what kinds of backwards, archaic country are they living in? For an example, let's say you got some Nutella <laughs> smeared all over your skin. Like that. What are you going to do? Clean it off with toilet paper or wash it off with water? Wash it with toilet water. Toilet paper. paper. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe that right off there. Yeah. All clean. Anti-diarrhea pills. Because you are... Definitely 100% absolutely gonna get the runs and that's enough poop imagery for one video So here's a random collection of beautiful footage that will definitely distract you from the topic <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pour these for the syrup <laughs> 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 Soap and toothpaste, you know, things that aren't really a table in India. Cereal, because who knows what they ate for breakfast. <laughs> Abysmal, avoiding death. Jump along, because you don't know what you're stepping in, and you definitely don't <coughs> want to know either. <laughs> 10 to 12 backup dancers. You never know when you will find true love. Mosquito repellent. Now, India has 
tens billions of mosquitoes. So what I'd suggest is bathing yourself every yeah, morning. Yeah, I, I get bathed and I get mosquitoes to love me. That in combination with but I also wasn't garbage, there on the summer. rapid dunk yeah. excrement is going to make your clothes smell just wonderful. <laughs> Extra money for the police. Now the Indian police is such a humble and extremely selfless organization. <laughs> Their hard work and dedicated sacrifice should not go unawarded. So Sarcasm I suggest level. tipping them healthy yeah. to keep them doing the great job that they already are. Oh, wow. <laughs> Perfect. That should be enough. <laughs> oh my word. No, you know, because again, who knows what the they ate there. Bugs can't forget those. <laughs> like, could you imagine if I did? Where would I get some more? India? <laughs> 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 Gurdasman and want him to reenact Chala. And finally, some of your own clothes. Maybe like a shirt and pants because, in all honesty, that's all you probably have room for anyway. And there you have it. Once you're done all that, time to zip it up, wrap in plastic wrap, duct tape, rope it, duct tape it again, wrap it up in more plastic wrap, add all sorts of colorful shit all over it, just so you know that it's yours. And now we get to the weighing process. Oh, you died. Oh, we're overweight. Looks like we'll have to start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I love his sarcasm so much. I do too. If you don't get what he's saying is sarcasm, please understand. You're an idiot. Just. <laughs> he's. Yeah, it's sarcasm. He's. Clearly his sarcasm level is level a million uh, in this video. Uh, did you use water when you, or did you? No, no. Nope. I, I know they have that tool that we learned with the water. They, they have water next to yeah, the whole, and th there's water and, and, they, and then they go like this. There's toilet paper everywhere that I went. Mm -hmm. So to say there isn't any toilet paper isn't true. Every place that I was at Why had you toilet scaring paper. scaring me. But it did have the hose too. And there's only one like reason. Like a hose? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's called a geyser, and it's also pronounced as a geezer. In fact, that's what Indrani called it, the geezer, but it's spelled G-E-Y-S-E-R, which we know is geyser. 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 And what it is, is it's basically a, a metal hose <laughs> with a little handle, like if you were spraying water out in the backyard from a g garden hose, like you squeeze it like this and the hey, water comes squirting out. It's right next to the toilet. It does the exact same thing that a bidet does, yeah. but it's the hose. Now the only reason I didn't use it was because I was avoiding getting water in my body and I knew that I would probably use it wrong and give myself an enema and shoot that thing. I don't know if it was coming out in a nice little how? trickle how? or it was coming out. How are you strong. shooting it? Let me uh, get straight up at the booty uh, hole, my let me friend. Get the, uh, well, I wasn't standing on the chair like that. Gotta, gotta, uh... But I, just, get the... I put it under there, and right before I did it, I thought, you know what? Do I really want to jettison that much of this tap water up into my colon? Because I've been doing really good on the stomach stuff. And so a little secret is that my common go-to, because toilet paper in and of itself is not enough, my friends. If you think it is, read the signs at the public pools in the United States of America, and there's giant warnings about the fecal <laughs> matter that's in the pools. That's why I don't swim in public pools in the United States of America, because people wipe their butt with toilet paper, and all that does oftentimes is smear it around. Wet wipes, my friend. Wet wipes. This video has gone in a weird direction. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> But what should I pack for India? You definitely want to wear flip-flops instead of shoes. No. You're going to wear regular shoes? Yes. What are you going to do if they get wet? Why would they get wet? Because there's various sundry things that could cause them to get wet. Water in the streets. It could rain. Well, I... The shoes have a, a decent amount of All stuff right. on the outside that's good. Okay. Wet wipes. Should I get rain boots? No. Yeah. You don't need rain boots. I'm gonna come out in rain boots. <laughs> I think you should wear galoshes. I don't like flip flops very much. Sandals? No, I don't like them. Never have. What do you wear when you go to the beach? 
I wear them, but I don't like them. Oh. <laughs> Everybody wears them in Calcutta. I mean, it's like the primary footwear are sandals or flip-flops. Yeah. They're the easiest to put on. They're the feet are gross. Not all feet. No. That's my wife. Babe, are all feet gross? Yep. See? It's like, it's like Alexis. Leland not, has... Not, not all feet are gross. Leland has adorable feet. Yeah. Well, because he hasn't used them yet. I know, they're so cute. <gasps> Anyways. <laughs> I'll probably bring them, but I doubt I will wear them. It's just... That's fine. Yeah, I would rather my feet. Toothbrush. But, see, all those things... Oh, really? I should bring a get, toothbrush? You can, get a, you can get that there. Like, I pack really, really light. Like, mm. I pack... I don't even need to check a bag. The only reason I had a bag coming back is because of all the gifts from the stupid babies. Mm. I needed a full suitcase to put it all in there. But going, I had my backpack. And yeah. a little, tiny, little carry-on over-the-shoulder thing. Mm. Cash, probably. Well, you need to convert it into rupees. I know. I should, should I do that? But yeah, you need paper. Yeah, do it at the exchange thing at the international terminal. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're going to cash for everything. The cards are like, you can do it, but 99% the, the of the stuff is... Do they have ATMs? Rupees. Not in Calcutta. Well, like if use. I needed to get more money out, if I didn't get enough out at the thing, where would I, where would I go? Bring enough money. Oh my God. You could go to a bank, but you're probably going to get charged a fee for it because it's not going to be a branch of your bank there. I don't know. Chases are everywhere. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, we're there for like two weeks. See how much money I'm going to have to get out? Well, you know the ratio of a dollar to a rupee? How much? <laughs> Last time the exchange rate was 59 rupees for every dollar. Well, I'm going to need to get out $59,000. Thanks. <laughs> if you turned $59,000 into rupees, man, Ooh. you're going to need a backpack to carry your Call in! I'm going to buy the cricket team. If you got 59,000 rupees, I think you'd have a hard time spending that in two weeks over there. I bet I could. How much is a car? <laughs> then I'll just give it to somebody. You get a car! <laughs> and you and, get a no, car! No, just one. Just, oh, one. just one car? Just one car. <laughs> okay. Only yeah, you heard it here first, guys. Corbin's giving you a car. <laughs> Just show up. First one who shows up to the meet and greet, Corbin's giving you a car. Yeah, it's, it's, it might be true. <laughs>